Hi, I'm Casey Patrick. Today we're going to be talking about how to stay sane while you're planning your wedding. The first step, plan on going over budget. I know it sounds weird, but create a slush fund for yourself. A plan on going 5 to 10% over the budget that you originally planned on. Put a little bit more money aside every week or month or whatever into this fund that you have for the day of the wedding just in case things go over budget. Just in case. Because something might happen. You don't know what it is. Obviously, you can't plan for it. So just have that money there. It's going to be peace of mind. It's If you don't need it, fantastic. That's awesome. Uh, use it on your honeymoon to go out for a great dinner or splurge on something else for yourselves because you didn't need to spend that money. But just sock some of that money away so that you have it there in case you need it. You get more flies with honey. Now, what does that mean? That means the nicer you are to people, the more they're going to want to do stuff for you. Whether it's your wedding party, whether it's your vendors, whoever it is, if you're nice and considerate and helpful to them, they're going to want to go above and beyond for you. The more that you need from them, the more likely they are to give it to you if you're nice. It seems crazy simple, but it's true, and you'd be surprised. Number three, DIY does not mean easier, faster, or cheaper. I have done a lot of DIY heavy weddings, and the one thing I've heard from all of those clients is that it takes a lot of time to make those projects come to fruition. If you ever watched the show Nailed It on uh, Netflix, where people try to do the thing, like the, the, make the cake that they saw on Pinterest, it's the same with weddings. People try to make those things and they realize this takes a lot of time and effort and I have to have the right tools. So you have to think about, do I have the tools to do this? Do I have the materials to do it? How long is it gonna take what I would suggest is making one test item of each thing that you want to do, DIY, uh, and see how long it takes. If it takes way longer than you thought it would, it's probably not worth it. Pay a professional to do it. Number three, have a contingency plan. Uh, what does that mean? Well, it means that if you're planning only on having an outdoor wedding ceremony, uh, you might be out of luck if the weather's really bad on the day of your wedding. Whatever the case, have a contingency plan. What if the transportation doesn't show up? Can we call a lift to come and pick us up? What if it rains? Is there an indoor ceremony location? Uh, what if it rains or snows? Do we have umbrellas for the wedding party so we can do photos outside even though it's raining? We, do they need uh, galoshes? You know, rain boots. Have a plan for things that can go wrong, and this is related to having a contingency plan. You can't control the weather. Stop trying. I'm going to say it again. You can't control the weather, so stop trying. You don't know what the weather is going to be like on your wedding day. You don't have a weather control machine. Just have a plan on what to do in case it's not what you want. That's all you can do. Otherwise, you just have to go with it. Hey, thanks for watching. Please click like if you enjoyed this video. You can also subscribe if you want to get new videos when they come out. You can also check out a list of other videos similar to this one. Or you can head over to my website and check out some helpful blog posts.